I know it's been, it's been a while since I posted the video, okay? Listen, let me tell you guys, I was in, where was I? Miami! <laughs> Miami for spring break for the last couple of days. I enjoyed my couple, of, you know, enjoyed it in spring break. Like, it's been a while since I actually participated in spring break. But this year, I went out with the boys, you know, went down to spring break and we had some fun. Let me tell you, man, the beach was beautiful. It was a little on the cold side. So, any of you guys who actually been to spring break this year, you know the weather in Miami is a little bit on the chilly side right now. I think it's like 21 degrees, but that's, that's it's all right. It's still beach weather for us Canadian at least, okay? And plus, me, there was a lot of of things going on in Miami on spring break. And spring break's actually still going on. I think it's still the end of the month. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video, apparently, you guys messaged me and told me, yo, Kev, oh man, did you know that Manila is under lockdown because of this virus that's going around? You know, the coronavirus. Even like here in Toronto, I know there's plenty of places that have been locked down because of this virus, man. Like schools are locked down for the next three weeks closed no one's going nowhere just to stay stay inside your house the shopping malls are empty i'm telling you the grocery stores the shelves are empty there's nothing man so i'm kind of curious what's happening in manila man what is going on in manila because like this thing is crazy man it spread so quick too that's the thing about it but anyways man let's get to this video man let's go president rodrigo duterte will place metro manila on lockdown for at least 30 days to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus in the philippines for Manila, may ayo namin gamitin yan, pero kasi takot kay sabihin lockdown. But it's a lockdown. There is no struggle of power here. Walang away dito, walang gira. It's just a matter of protecting okay. and defending you from COVID-19. He also raised his code red sub-level to Thursday, March 12, marking the first massive lockdown in the country in recent history. Yeah, so it's it's a lockdown, but it's not quite like martial law. It's just that you have to stay indoors for 30 days. So I don't know. I don't know how people are going to deal with this. What's going to happen with some of the, the, the folks on the streets? Man, there's so much things. And after everything, what, who has the diseases? And who doesn't? So these hospitals in Manila are going to be packed with people, the cases. Because who knows what's going to happen. If maybe one person in the family has it, and that person decides to stay with the family, the group of family. Because I know in the Philippines, it's groups of families in the homes. So what's going to happen to that whole family? Is that one person that's sick going to spread the whole thing? Or does that one person has to go to the hospitals? Let me know in the comments down below. Duterte's order is based on the resolution of the Interagency Task Force on the Outbreak. The president also announces class suspension for all levels in Metro Manila until April 12. April 12. Work for the executive branch of the government is also suspended, but oh. skeletal staffing can be implemented to ensure government work will continue. Land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila will also be suspended oh, from wow. March 15 until April 14. The president also talks about localized community quarantine, giving guidelines when to impose barangay, municipality, or province-wide quarantines. Duterte also clarifies travelers from countries with confirmed coronavirus cases will be banned from entering the Philippines. But Filipino citizens, their dependents, permanent Philippine residents, and diplomats will be allowed entry. He also thanks Chinese President Xi Jinping in his address, saying he knows China will help the Philippines amid the crisis. The health department confirms three new cases of the novel coronavirus Thursday, wow. bringing the total number of patients who tested positive to 52. Okay. A 67-year-old Filipina, the country's 35th case of the novel coronavirus, dies Wednesday, March oh, wow. 11. But one thing I've, I've noticed, okay, with this coronavirus, Yes, it's spreading real fast. Yes, it's pretty it's pretty bad. But what I've realized it's the older, it's attacking the older folks more, man. The older people are the ones who are more it's like prone to like getting sick and dying so far. I don't think there's any cases of any young person like under 30 dying. If there is, let me know in the comments down below, okay? Let me know right now. The health department says the woman had no travel history outside the Philippines wow. and was confined at the Manila Doctors' Hospital in Manila. The Senate is on lockdown starting Thursday, March 12, after a resource person in a March 5 hearing tested positive for COVID-19. 
Senate President Tito Soto says the Senate will be disinfected and CCTV cameras will be checked to monitor the interactions with a COVID-19 positive resource person. Oh, wow. 11 senators go into self-quarantine as a result. Meanwhile, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte also goes on self-quarantine as precautionary measure after meeting Senator Sherwin Gatchalian. Many cabinet members of President Duterte also undergo self-quarantine. They are Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez III, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade, Public Works and Highway Secretary Mark Villar, Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea, and Education Secretary Leonor Briones. Meanwhile, the Presidential Security Group says President Duterte's foreign trips will be suspended, okay. especially to countries where there are confirmed cases of COVID-19. That's really smart. I don't think he should be leaving anywhere, any, like, just till this is over. Hopefully, man. Hopefully till it's over. In 30 days, hopefully. We'll see what happens. As per recommendation from the health department, Manila Mayor Isko Moreno also places himself in quarantine at the Manila City Hall after an official trip to London. Meanwhile, the headquarters of the Asian Development Bank or ADB at Ortega Center in Mandaluyong City is closed Thursday, March 12, after a visitor tested positive for the novel coronavirus. Okay, guys, so this thing is massive, man. This is on a global level. The thing about it, with people traveling so much, people able to go on planes, get somewhere else, that's how this thing spreads so fast. I personally think, man, that they didn't take this serious enough. That this is why it has gotten so bad. If they took this serious as first as they heard, like the first patient zero, that person, as soon as they heard that, they should have stopped everything. No flights, nothing. But then again, if they did that, the thing about the airlines, this is why this is what's so complicated. And the airlines lose money, people complain. So now it's like they had to wait till it became to the point where it's so bad. So this is a difficult situation right now for the government at least. Like, do you suspend? If they suspend the airlines early and they caught this, you would have airlines complaining, you would have people complaining about it. People would have said, oh, why are you doing this? And look, it's contained. I feel like it's such a difficult thing and they, it's like you want to stop it early, but at the same time you can't because you know there's politics and people complaining and saying, why do this? So now that's why this has become so bad and it's so out of control that they, now they have no choice but to lock everything down, lock everything down. Like in the Philippines, man, I know they don't mention Manila, but I'm sure all the other barangays, all the other provinces, they're doing recommending, like, you know, self quarantine, stay home, do not go out if you don't have to. I know, like, a lot of stores are, like, out of food. There are stores out of food. Because even in Canada here, man, I'm telling you, the stores are out of food. Everyone's got all the water stacked on the shelves. I know I need to go out to get go to get some groceries because I need some food because I'm running out of food because I just came back. But then when I when I get back, I am going to put myself in self quarantine just because I don't want to like spread anything in case I do have it. Because apparently, you do not show any signs until like seven days, and then within those seven days, you could be spreading it around to people who may not even have it, right? Because look, just like this lady in Manila, like oh the, the 76 year old, she had no travel history. But yet she got it and died. You know like how shitty that is? Do you know how that, that sucks? Like honestly, like you don't travel over, but someone who had it came in contact with you and gave it to you. Man, I I know they said this whole thing started with like someone from China who was eating bats. But when I think about it too, I feel like I've been hearing rumors, okay, this is just rumors, that people have been saying that it, it's like a biological a weapon that got out. I don't know if this is true or not, but people say it's a biological weapon that got out and they, they didn't, they kind of got out of control and they didn't make an antidote yet. So now they're trying to make an antidote. Like here in Canada, we, we're good. We're doing good. We're pretty good. We have like, I think there's only like two cases in Canada, but Canada's pretty much self quarantine and checking every single person that comes into Canada. But who knows what's going to happen? I think there's going to be more cases because Canada, like people travel to Canada a lot, back and forth, and especially since spring break just happened or is going on right now, I feel like this thing is going to blow up. It's going to explode because young kids do not listen, okay? Young kids do not stay away from other people. They do not quarantine. They want to go out. They want to party, have fun. So I feel like the young kids that are on spring break right now, this thing is going to blow up because spring break, any of you guys know spring break, it's crazy. It's people from all parts of the world 
flying into Miami. And trust me, Miami is the hot spot for spring break. If you guys don't know, you guys haven't been to Miami, man. It is the hot spot because the crowds in Miami are massive and crazy. Because everyone, I am telling you, everyone comes to Miami for spring break. All right. But anyways, that's my thoughts on this whole coronavirus. And I think they're doing a good job right now, closing everything, suspending everything. But what's, what do you guys feel? Do you guys feel they should have done this a lot earlier, like like months ago? Or do you guys feel that they, took the, they did it at the right time? Let me know in the comments down below, okay? Anyways, if you guys made it all the end of the video, you guys know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys absolutely love the video, man, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn that post notification bell on. And go check out my Instagram at It's Kevil, for real, man. Also, go check out me on Facebook at It's Kevil. That's where I post my videos, my vlogs. Go over there and check me out. Just give me a like, give me a follow, check me out. You know, share my stuff, do whatever, man. And we'll catch you guys next one. All right, peace.